And while they do, I'm gonna make you a fantastic little butter beer. Now this is a kitty cocktail, and I have to say, my nephews and my nieces are completely into Harry Potter, so I started reading the books too, and that is where I got the idea for this. And it starts off with cream soda. About a cup and a half, maybe two cups of that, and this is gonna go into the microwave for about a minute and a half. So let me get it in there and get it going. By the way, all of those little characters in Harry Potter, Hermione and Ron and all those guys love butterbeer. So I thought it would be pretty smart to create my own. And every time I see Bricer, my nephew, he's always like, hey, Aunt Sandy, can you make me some of that butterbeer? Very sweet. Speaking of sweet, it's going to start off too with a little bit of creamy condensed milk. All I need is about a quarter of a cup of that talking about sweetness. And then I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup of butterscotch sauce. Normally, this would go on top of ice cream. So just fill that up halfway. That'll give you a quarter of a cup. And just a couple tablespoons of whipped butter. Nice soft butter goes in here. It's also fun to experiment with your kids. Trying to figure out what you can make at home in the kitchen is a very smart thing with them. Now this is gonna go into the microwave. Two, one, cream soda. Now this is gonna go into the microwave for another about a minute just to heat up and get nice and warm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Stir that together, the butter is all melted now. And these are just little butterscotch twizzles in here for my stir sticks. And look at that. Oh my gosh. I think Aunt Sandy's gonna have a little sugar overdose here. And these are beautiful with some great old fashioned kitty cocktail butter beer. Now, Aunt Sandy has to have one of these, but I'm gonna go put on something very festive and fun, and I'll meet you right by the tablescape. A ping pong party is the perfect party for kids of all ages. And you know what? It's not gonna cost you a fortune to get this gorgeous, dramatic look. Super, super simple to do. Now, above my table, these are just those adhesive lampshades from the fabric store. Very simple, pick out your fabric, lickety split, wrap it around, cut it, you are done. The tabletop, just fabric remnant from the same fabric store, but check out every single one of my place settings. These are just plastic plates, which means they are super inexpensive. Then these are paper flowers from the craft store, $2.99 a piece, very, very pretty. And my matching plastic glasses, those are adorned with just a piece of paper that's been cut out in the shape of a ping pong paddle with an extra long band wrapped around to secure it. Then a ping pong ball has been glued to the paddle with each guest's initial. And of course, have a ball just finishes this off. And that is it. It is beautiful, it's simple, and it's dramatic, just like my menu. By the way, all those great recipes, they're available on Food Network's website, so log on and download them. They're absolutely free, and I promise you'll have a ball in the kitchen too. And until next time, I want you to remember to keep it simple, keep it smart, keep it sweet, and always keep it semi-homemade. I'm Sandra Lee, have a great day.